Thank you very much for giving a chance to make presentation. It is a big honor for me. The title of my presentation is Japan-India Strategic Partnership will be the new hope for Asia. One of the salient future of the India's foreign policy is that uh, it has many strategic partners, including Japan, US, Australia, Vietnam, ASEAN, Indonesia, South Korea, China, Russia, Afghanistan, and Iran. The fact that many countries want to be India's strategic partner be a testimony to India's growing popularity in the world. However, several strategic partners might be an interesting point to analyze to better understand India's real intention. From the aspect of security, it might be clear that having several strategic partners reflects India's threat perception. The strategic partners, including Japan, US, Australia, Vietnam, Indonesia, and ASEAN, have been concerned about China's assertiveness. And Afghanistan, Iran, a country situated around Pakistan. Russia is an influential country in the northern border with both China and Pakistan. However, for Japanese, Assessing the importance of Japan-India relations is a major concern. In the report, India's strategic partners, a compar comparative assessment, Japan got only 34 points, the lowest. Why? <laughs> because there is no substantial, sustained, and potential support for India's defense sector. 0 point, 0 point, 2 points, and total is 34. Really, I want to ask. So the report, which was written in 2011, is based on relatively old information. And now Shinzo Abe is the Prime Minister of Japan, and Japan has already changed its security policy. We should re-evaluate the importance of Japan-India strategic partnership. There are three important factors. Current security situation in Asia, role of Japan-India defense cooperation in Asian security, and why Japan trusts India as a responsible great power. In recent times, China's rising naval power in the Indo-Pacific region over the declining U.S. naval power, which has caused problems between China and countries around China, including Japan, Southeast Asian countries, and India in this region. So just quick glance over the last two decades will show the changing balance of U.S. and China. The procurement of number of submarines is a good example since the main task of submarines is the execution of war and deterrence thereof. So since 2000, compared with China's 41, U.S. has acquired only 11 submarines. Despite U.S. submarines being far more sophisticated than China's, but Numerically speaking, both China and uh, U.S. and China possess about 70 submarines each. So this sensitive status quo is further disturbed by the fact that under reviewing 30 years shipbuilding plan, U.S. submarine fleet is expected to decrease more than 25%. So in addition, there is a possibility that U.S. cannot concentrate all military power in Asia because U.S. need to deal with some likely problem in other parts of the world as well. Hence, Japan, Southeast Asia countries, and India need to keep military balance for peace and stability in this region by using our own effort. So what should we do? The Japan-India strategic cooperation is likely to be important for this balancing. Firstly, we should focus on the linkage of the China border area and East China Sea. The most relevant explanation is that the Japan India cooperation can rectify their respective numerical inferiority. For example, if India cooperates with Japan, India will not need to deal with all the Chinese fighters at once because China is likely to keep some of their fighters in their east side against Japan and vice versa. So simply said, to keep military balance, this location is best. And since 2040, Japan has planned to invest India's strategic road project in the northeast region of India. By using this road, the Indian army can deploy more force and supply uh, to the border area. In the Indian Ocean, Japan is also planning to assist India's strategic airport project in the Andaman-Nicobar Island near Maraca Strait. 
There is a possibility that Japan will also contribute to India's shipbuilding capability to build warship include submarines. And despite main purpose of the U.S. to rescue plane being rescuing, it can also be used for marking the country's presence. Simply said, ambulance is not a police car, but can show the presence of the government. And India needs sea-based missile defense system to protect air aircraft carrier against anti-ship ballistic missile. Japan is developing some of the most important parts of the system under Japan-U.S. joint development sea-based missile defense system. So if so, Japan and India, along with the U.S., can cooperate. And mine sweeper is also important too for India to deal with submarines because submarines can set up sea mines. So Japan is proud of our world level know-how and equipment to deal with sea mines. In addition, if India's knowledge in South Asia and Japan's budget and technology could be coupled, we can develop infrastructure in the countries around India more effectively and India's influence would strengthen. The country around South China Sea need to amalgamate their leadership as a one integrated power and be half their military power with a trustworthy partner to provide coastal countries military support. So both Japan and India has already started to support armed forces in Southeast Asia. If so, we should establish Japan-India, Vietnam, Japan-India, Singapore, etc. trilateral strategic dialogue, and through such dialogue, we can share the information, better identity the needs of these Southeast Asian countries, and decide how to cooperate and support these countries. So therefore, Japan-India strategic cooperation is quite potent. What then is the importance of Japan-India strategic cooperation? One of the important factors is that Japan respects India as a great power in South Asia. Why Japan respects India as a great power in South Asia and the Indian Ocean region? There are three main reasons. Firstly, because India's foreign policy toward countries around India is relatively generous. This is the list of India's military operations since independence. This list proves that most of the India's operations are reactive and India's army has not crossed the border since 1972 except for PKO. So India is relatively generous. So such generosity encourages Japan to trust India as a great power. Simply said, India will not bully small neighbors. Secondly, international cooperation inevitably leads to greater India influence since the country has a long experience of joint military operations. Why is the international cooperation is so important? Leaders should be democratically elected by the supporters, and the leaders are supposed to care for their supporters. So hence, any influential country that approaches the problem by using multinational cooperation faces a similar situation. It needs to care for the supporting countries. So the India's experience gained through the several multinational operations such as the PKO, joint exercise, capacity building project, contribute acquiring, acquiring the know-how for India to become the influential country in this region. Thirdly, India will be the most influential security provider in the near future because of the six reasons which were pointed out by Alfred Teya Mahan, who analyzed the why British had been the sea power. First of all, India has an uh, advantageous geographical position because India is able to access all sides of the Indian Ocean. And about physical conformation, especially the length of coastline, India has 7,570 km coastline. And the extent of territory, especially the balance between the extent of the coastline and military defense resources, India is only strong naval power as a coastal country in the Indian Ocean region. And the size of the population for working at sea, uh, 55,000 Indian sailors employed in various countries and character of the people, the historical act of the Chola Empire is a prominent example of the India's character of the people as a sea power and character of the government. India's defense budget has accordingly increased the share of the Navy from 12.7% uh, uh, in 1990 to the 70% in 2040. So India's image based on three empires, Maurya, the Mughal, and the British Raj, uh, that dominate the most of the subcontinent. But the fact of the Chola Empire indicates India could be sea power if it possessed the necessary will. So to summarize the presentation, 
Japan, Southeast Asian countries, and India need to deal with the changing U.S.-China military balance in this region. And the role of in Japan-India strategic partnership is quite potent. And in addition, it is natural for Japan to believe that only India could be the responsible sea power, a great power in the Indian Ocean region. Thus, as a strategic partner, Japan is one of the most important countries for India, especially in the defense sector. If so, now is the time to re-evaluate the importance of uh, Japan-India strategic partnership. Like that, from 0.2, 10, 0 0.10, 0 0.2, uh, 2.10, and total is 62. So Japan will be the most important strategic partner with the United States, Russia, and Vietnam, etc. So this is my dream. Thank you very much. <laughs>